Well, good evening. Thank you for just taking a couple minutes um, to spend with me as we look at some scripture, and I'm going to jump right into it. Um, I am telling you that I'm reading from the ESV. I believe that translation for what I'm going to talk about tonight um, is pretty clear. And so, although you can use other translations, I'm reading from the ESV, and I'm looking at the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, just verses 1 to 3. So listen to God's word to you. Luke 10, 1 through 3. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of your harvest to send out laborers into this harvest. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. And so I think a lot of us are, as believers, are familiar with um, parts of the scripture. I'm sending out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Uh, but as I was reading to see what to share with you guys this morning, and I was reading this part of Luke, I was struck by something I guess I'd never really paid attention to before, and that's the beauty of looking at scripture, and over and over you see different aspects of, of God's truth to you, and so that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, this call to the disciples of Christ, uh, in the gospel of Luke, it was his 72 disciples. What are then uh, the 12 closest disciples that spent most um, of their time with Christ? So Jesus is calling out a wider um, audience of followers to do his will. And I think this speaks to us today, um, as all of us being in the body of Christ, uh, making sure that Christ's call to share the good news and the gospel with people goes beyond just a select few. Now, granted, some people are um, very much uh, gifted by God to go out and share the good news, but we all have that ability because we've all been saved by Christ. And that's what we're called to do is to share with others how we were rescued. <clears throat> so we are all called to be um, harvest workers. Again, sharing how Christ rescued us and sharing the good news to a world that is very confused and lost you know, and often doesn't understand what the Bible says. And so that's the importance of us being in the, in the word and understanding uh, what it means. But tonight I wanted to focus in on verse three, because this morning when I read it, that's what my, um, attention was drawn to. So I'm going to share just a little bit of, of what I see in verse three. It says, go your way. Behold, I'm sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. What caught my attention is not what most people, um, or I've been used to hearing, right? You're going out as lambs, um, into the midst of wolves it is the first part. And the first part says what it says, Go your way in this uh, more literal uh, translation of the Bible. We're called to share the news to the entire world. Um, the Great Commission calls us to do that. And um, in other parts of the gospel, it says that as well, just like here, wherever Jesus was going to go. Well, Jesus wants the entire world to hear about God's gift to them, God's grace and mercy that he wants to extend to all people. But I think a lot of us get caught up in this idea of we're to go to the ends of the earth. We're, we're supposed to go um, to these far flung, desolate places. Like, I just don't feel called to do that. I'm not sure where God wants me um, to go. And this verse, Jesus is really, really clear. What are the first three words that it says? It says, go your way. We don't need to get caught up in where. 
We don't need to look at a map around the world and, and, and decide what country is super far away. I mean, some of us may be interested or feel called to go to specific countries around the world. And that's, that's great. And some of us, um, our way may be locally. It may be um, in the state, in the United States somewhere. God's not worried about that. What he wants you to do is go. He wants you to go your way. So you don't compare yourselves to what other people are doing or what other people have done. God is telling you personally, if you have a relationship with him, go your way. He'll work out all the details. It's not about where we go. It's about who we're talking about as we go. Because the lost are found everywhere. They're found in your neighborhood. They're found in your town, in your city, in your state. And you can go to the ends of the earth and the lost are there as well. So understand this as you go your way. As a believer, you're accompanied by the Holy Spirit, which dwells in us. And this has relieved a lot of uh, self-imposed pressure or misunderstandings for me. When we go and we talk about Jesus with other people in an authentic way in relationship, and share our story. It's God who's working through us. Okay, The weight of others' salvation isn't on our soldiers, shoulders. It's That's God's work, right? That's above our pay grade. We're simply to tell people about our Savior. We're simply to tell people about Christ. And the rest of that verse, let me go back to it really quick. I'm sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. That does talk about what we're supposed to do. It sounds kind of scary, but it's essentially placing us in, in our action, right? Um, sheep listen to their shepherd, and they're being sent out to people that, that could be hostile towards them. But how are we supposed to act? We're not supposed to beat people over the head with scripture. We're not supposed to argue people into heaven. Um, we're supposed to be meek and humble, sheep among wolves, because God will provide. He keeps his promises. He'll provide everything that you need. If you understand your relationship with Christ, that's all you have to share. And God will provide the rest. Let us grow in our faith. Um, in Jesus, who's always faithful, right? Let us grow in our faith as we share our faith to others in a God who is always faithful. So um, take a few minutes and look at this scripture and think about it and maybe chat with somebody else about it, have a good conversation. Um, but I encourage you to go your way, not anybody else's, go your way. And go joyfully sharing the truth about the world in which we live, the state of it, um, the state of ourselves, explaining who God is and who Jesus is, and explaining that Jesus holds the solution uh, to the problem of sin. And he, and he holds grace in his hands, and he's calling people to him. So share that with others. and. Um, Thank you for spending a few minutes with me tonight. And I hope you guys have a blessed week and I'll see you guys next week. All right. We'll see you later.